We waste a lot of food, more than a billion tons each year. And a lot of those leftovers end up in landfills where it turns into methane. That's the worst kind of greenhouse gas. But now Georgia State University is using artificial technology to do something about the food waste pro problem, helping their students get enough to eat without taking too much. ABC's News chief climate correspondent Ginger Z shows us how it works. 7,500 meals. That's how much food the dining halls at Georgia State University in Atlanta serve every day. We have so many students and so much food waste. Student Aaron Murphy saw a way to change that. We saw this innovation and decided to apply for a sustainability grant. Applying for a university grant to bring new technology to her campus that uses artificial intelligence, or AI, to examine the food waste. And it provides data on what's left behind. She shows us how it works. Okay, so I'm done with my food and I'm just gonna place it on the conveyor belt. There's a photo that's gonna be taken of the plate and AI is going to categorize everything on the plate and weigh everything on the plate. The software, called Raccoon Eyes, displays its findings in this online dashboard. I wanted to start this company to see what the problem of waste food waste is by first measuring it and then seeing how we can tackle that with the data. Ivan Zhao helped create it. So chef can easily just go into it and see, hey, I, okay, I had salmon last week. Let's see how many people like salmon. We can see how many plates and then how many the total waste. There's only 10 plates of that wasted. Food waste is not just an issue on college campuses. It's a much bigger problem, according to Pete Pearson from the World Wildlife Fund. The scope of food waste in the United States is pretty big. We waste around 40% of all the food we produce. 80 million tons of food waste is how much we create in the United States each year. And it's not just the food that was wasted. Think about the land that it took to grow it and the plant and animal habitats that were lost. It's estimated that over 70% of all nature loss is attributed to expanding food and agriculture production. And so when we waste 30 to 40% of everything we produce, we waste all that embedded energy and also that nature that was sacrificed to produce it. Making the adverse impact even more significant, if that food waste isn't composted, it ends up in landfills, where instead of breaking down organically, it releases the worst kind of greenhouse gas, methane. That's why Georgia State is so focused on reducing their own food waste. They have looked at over 400,000 plates since it started in January. Through that data, they see that about 21% of plates have food waste on it. Jennifer Wilson is GSU's Director of Sustainability. What are the food items that we waste the most of? So that's actually French fries, that's chicken, that's pizza. If we were just to look at the food, we might say, oh my gosh, there's a lot of chicken waste. Maybe we shouldn't serve chicken. But then when you look at the feedback, what you actually see is people are like, oh man, this chicken is great. Do more chicken, but maybe I took too much. We have small plates, we don't have trays, everything is reusable in dining hall. The last frontier is really how do we change student behavior to reduce food waste. She says that they cut their food waste by 23% during the first four months of the pilot program. Crediting, yes, the AI, but also just students being more aware. Visible in comments like, quote, sorry for my waste, left at the raccoon eyes kiosk. It's a place where students can leave verbal feedback about each meal. I got a, a of spaghetti giving staff insight into what they serve and what's left over. The sushi feedback was really all over the place. We drill in and what we see is that we have hot cheetah sushi. <laughs> it's really popular. Make more hot cheetah sushi. Make a little bit less of the other stuff, right? So we see these things that are you know, helping us make, make action every day. And suggestions from the Raccoon Eyes team, like improving portion sizes and even changing the types of serving utensils. There's these easy to implement things like serve smaller chicken, do burger sliders that we wouldn't have really thought about. Very creative way to help the climate there. Our thanks to Ginger for that.